Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set. We're here at the AO Arena in Manchester for one of the most anticipated British clashes in recent history. Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Smith. Make sure you guys tune into Sky Sports Box Office because there's no tickets left. This thing is sold out. <laughs> you got a great future behind you. <laughs> all right? Yeah, all good. How's the win, Roy? Very good, very good. You got one little. Place where you hear the wood bounce a little bit, but everything else is good. Awesome. Everything else is perfect. How's Chris? Are you ready? Oh, Chris is always ready. Chris is a constant professional. Well, Josh, massive night of boxing here tonight. Top by Chris Eubank Jr., Liam Smith. How do you see it going? Obviously, I'm Cam Smith. Um, I see it's going to be. A, I'm excited for both ways, you know, as both as a boxing fan and also a team member, Liam Smith as well. But I can I can't see past Liam Smith, you know, as uh, I just think his boxing ability is going to see this fight through. Um, I don't think it's going to be an easy fight. I think there's going to be some sort of shootout moments, you know, like a, a barnstormer. I can see it being a bit of a barnstormer because the two of them obviously don't like each other and got a bit personal through the week and things. So. I think I can see it being a really exciting fight while it lasts, um, but I do think uh, Liam Smith's got the edge. Big opportunity for Jack Massey, you know, moving up to heavyweight. He's going to be up for this one as well. P potential banana skin, so you have to be on point. I have to be on point. He's going to be tough confident he's going to back himself and I'm sure he's put in the work as well but <clears throat> this is my division uh, and this is um, I'm going to I'm going to welcome him I said it before I'm going to welcome him in and, and give him uh, one of the hardest fights uh, he's ever going to have fighting out of the red corner here is Fraser Could have got through the middle there from Fraser Clark as well. That was a nice, solid shot. And that's exactly what he has to be careful about. Fraser Clark again with that nice balance about him. He slowly and systematically broke him down and knocked the fight out of him. And he's a tough guy, that guy. Doesn't get stopped a lot. He's a top guy, but you know, I felt like I was landing good shots, a few solid jabs, um, a few round of size, took a few nice few body shots in there. A little bit disappointed in my hand position after the body shots because the counter caught me a couple of times. Heard a few oohs and ahs, but you know, I'm tough, game is a badger and strong. And you're here obviously to support your good friend and gym mate Joseph Parker. Tough fight last time out against Joe Joyce. How's he been looking in the gym? He's uh, regrouped pretty quick. He had some time off after that brutal fight he had with Joe. Um, and he came back December, early December when I fought last. And he's been training ever since, yeah, so he's looking really good. He's really ready for it, and I'm sure he's going to put on a good show. Brilliant. Listen, Tyson, have we got any news on you, Usyk? You know, there was talk of it being in March, now possibly April. Have we, have we got any news? Um, yeah, um, it's, we're just, it's imminent news coming um, on an announcement. So I'll let the promoters announce and do what they got to do, do their job, and I'll do mine taking care of the business. The contracts have gone over? Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in a position to speak about contracts and stuff. And so we got Usyk and I heard you talking there as well that you're maybe tempted to get in the cage and do a little yeah. bit of fighting in the cage as well? Yeah, listen, if the Usyk fight don't get done, we'll be looking at Francis Ngannou for the, the baddest man on the planet title. I'm sure the WBC can make that up for me. 
Um, yeah, well, what I was thinking is we do four ounce gloves in a cage under Queensbury rules with a badass referee like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Listen, that would be that, <laughs> that would be fun. But Tyson, you're always looking to do different things, break you know break all barriers, and that certainly would be one. That would be an epic night, and I'm sure everyone would enjoy it as much as I would. Brilliant. Well, enjoy your night tonight. My toes, though, because he's a big lump in here. He can bang. He's supposed to be the hardest punching human on the planet. Yeah, he can. But that's what I'm saying. You're always up for the challenge. Yeah, listen, I'm up for it. He can't punch any harder than Wilder anyway, can he? <laughs> nice one. Enjoy your night. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks. I'm touring that chase when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm predicting uh, Chris Eubank Jr. stops Smith late. I think it's going to be a tough, tight fight, very close, maybe close on the scorecards. But the way I've seen Chris Eubank push down the final straight, that, that's what differentiates him between the other fighters. The fact that he's got gears and he just keeps going through them. He's got, he's got a massive engine, you know, not, the, not a one-punch knockout specialist, but respectable power all the way up to the 12th round. So I think he's going to work with a big body assault and he's going to really put, put the heat on late doors. It's a street chunk that just animals and things when he goes abroad and all that. So I came to edit, wiping everybody out right before the credits. I'm a hard guy to get along. Out of the red corner, please welcome Chris Congo. Congo's doing well with the jab, you know, he is mixing it up, he's, sometimes he's, he's, he's putting a single jab out, then he'll throw a feint, then he'll throw a double jab.
How's Liam looking? Yeah, he's looking good. He's looking good at all camp, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, not going to change in the last week. He's, he's weighed in yesterday, he's refueled, he's ready to go. I've seen him before, heading over to here. And, you know, he's in a good place, both mentally and physically, and I'm ready to get the job done. I've got to ask you this. Like, do you get more nervous you fighting or your brother? Because like, I've got a brother, and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's much worse when it's my brothers. I think it's different when you're in control and you know, your fate's in your own hands, whereas when it's someone else and you feel a bit powerless so to speak but now I know he's a good fighter he's capable of looking after himself he's been here many times before at, at this level and I say we're very confident as a team and as a family that he's good enough to do it the blue corner please welcome to the ring Christoph Glowatsky introducing Richard Richard
too much of an opportunity to do his own work this time. Rabs are high right now, do you know what I mean? We didn't, get, we, didn't, we didn't get many rounds, but did you think it was even leading up to that, or did you think yeah. it was dominated? No, it was. I think he was as well, but Chris, Chris moves and also like. Like traditional boxers, you know, you're alright, yeah, you're okay, yeah, you're alright, yeah. Like traditional boxers, like something like Beefy stands a lot, and like, sorry, he's, he like stalks, whereas Eubank, he like, he, he's always moving because he's so fit, and like, he obviously stays in safe all year round, he's sharp and that, but like, it's, I've seen Beefy, like, when you watch the Canelo fight back, I've lost the Canelo fight back a lot of times. <laughs> when you watch, like, him fight Canelo, he's like, he's still laughing when he's moving forward, Canelo's hitting him with them shots, it's like, if you analyze like Beefy's fights to Eubanks, Beefy's honestly, like, people don't, people just don't give Beefy the credit he deserves. It's, it's, 